Hey there, awesome small group leaders. Uh, Kevin Lambic here, 5th through 8th grade pastor. And I, first of all, just want to say thank you this week for pouring into 5th through 8th grade students at Christ Chapel. Uh, you are the rock stars of our ministry, and we are so glad that you um, pour into students. Um, I don't know about you, but recently I've been spending a lot of time on fact-checking websites. Um, there's a lot of political claims happening out there, and um, I found that I have needed to spend a lot of time finding out what is uh, real and what is not real when it comes to uh, politician promises or facts. Um, and uh, that is a culture that we live in where truth is subjective and people can spin truth the way that they want to hear it. Uh, you go to any social media site, someone's going to post something. Uh, I find myself just going, did that person really say that or did that really happen? Well, the same is true with, our, with, the, with the Word of God. And our students are wondering, in a, in a world of what is true or fake news, uh, they're wondering what is truth. And um, we have an opportunity to combat the idea that truth is subjective meaning what's true for me may not be true for you, um, and as long as we're happy about that, then we're good. And that is a dangerous um, truth of the enemy, uh, or lie of the enemy, that wants us to believe that all truth is subjective. Now, John fourteen six says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And... Jesus makes a very bold claim that he is the source of truth in our life, and we want our students to value that and get that to um, you. So in this study, I want you to think about how you can get students to see, one, that subjective truth is damaging to us, it's damaging to our world, and two, to see areas in their own life where they are finding truth in other ways. Um, and to see other sources of truth that they may be relying on other than the Bible. Uh, third, we're going to jump into talking about how they can stay closer uh, tied to God's truth and build habits that are reminding them of what is true. And then finally, we want to equip them to have conversations where they stand up for God's truth instead of um, believing the lie that they can believe in God's truth, but somebody else, it's fine if they don't. So this is an important uh, week, and I want you to get them talking and thinking about what is truth and where do we get truth, and how can we know that God's truth is, uh, is true and why we follow it. Have a great small group session.